We'll give him one minute to say what he needs to say about the NHL, but he's going to have to hold on for the rest of the show. All right, that's the way it goes. All right, let, let's let's bring up the mics and uh, bring in these gentlemen who are doing something very, very cool. And uh, go ahead and uh, swing that around for you. I think uh, you're all right. Uh, Rich Graham. Yes, sir. That is uh, the guy here in the uh, red T-shirt and the visor and uh, the very nice-looking ink, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Which, if you get me started on tattoos, we won't talk about why you're in here because I'm a tattoo freak. So um, thank you very much for stopping by, Rich. Uh, you're doing a cross-country bike ride, uh, raising some money for a good cause. And um, since I'm... Just now trying to figure out everything's going on. I'm going to go ahead and let you tell everyone about uh, what you guys are doing uh, over the summer. All right, basically what we're doing is we started out in San Diego. We're riding bicycles to Virginia Beach. The goal is to raise money for the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. Uh, this foundation is set up and designed uh, for the Special Forces guys who get killed in any branch during war or training. Uh, if they have children, they set aside trust funds for their children and give them a full scholarship to whatever college they can get into. And on top of that, they pay for their birthing, their books, they donate a laptop, and uh, they stay with the children all the way through grammar school and high school and counsel them and get them into the college that they want to go to. So now I'm assuming that have all of you guys, why don't you, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself first. What's your, what's your Hi, name? Hi, I'm uh, Anthony Weiss. And you? Sean McConnell. Uh, we, got, we got one more mic. Oh, we got to turn on. And your name? James Campbell. All right, James. Uh, James, Sean, Graham. Rich. And your name again? Sorry. Anthony. Anthony. So I'm assuming that all you guys at one point were in the military or currently in the military no. or knew someone. How, how did you guys get involved with all this? Uh, I did uh, six years, in, a little over six years in the Navy. I served as a Navy SEAL. Um, Sean? I did five years on board the USS City of Corpus Christi. It's a submarine. I was also Actually, a, I'm gonna Go ahead and swing this mic. Uh, okay, go. go ahead. I did five years on the USS City of Corpus Christi. It's a fast attack submarine. I was the radio man and the ship's diver. And uh, you? Uh, my late father was a Vietnam vet. Oh, okay. Very cool, because that's, I mean, I didn't do any military service, but I had almost everybody in my family did some sort of military, and I, just based on it, what, what is, um, why do you guys need to go out, out and do this? I mean, it's a good cause, but is there just not enough money uh, for these soldiers, or what was, the, what was just the main inspiration for you guys deciding, hey, we need to get these guys, we need these guys' family more money? It's, it's partially that. A lot of it is that, and, uh, you know, for me, serving in the SEAL teams, it, it is a totally different ball game. Uh, for me, who, you know, going over to war and stuff at, you know, the low 20s, and, uh, you know, working with guys who have kids, and they put their families on hold, and they go to war and fight anyway when they know, you know, me, I don't really have much to lose, but when you have a family and you know you're going in the harm's way no matter what, you know, and you go and do that anyway, I, I just... There's a lot of respect involved, and I think we owe it to the guys who go and, you know, put themselves in those positions knowingly uh, what the risks are and uh, what the consequences might be. Um, and, uh, you know, I just I feel personally like I owe it to those guys to, to take care of their families uh, since they've taken care of us. How much money have you guys raised so far? So far we've raised a little over $50,000. That's not bad at all. Nope. That, that's not bad. How, is there a specific goal that you've got set aside set for yourself as far as how much you'd really like to raise? We'd like to raise a minimum of 100000 by the time we reach Virginia Beach. And, all right, so, all right, let's get into the specifics of how people can get in touch with you and what's the best way for them to go about and donate money because this, this is a very cool cause, yeah. a very cool thing that you guys are doing. Uh, you, can, you can donate through two different websites. Um, one is uh, one of our sponsors has uh, put up a web page for us on their website. It's uh, www.death-by-design.net, and that's a clothing company. And uh, or you can go straight to the uh, Special Operations Warrior Foundation, and that is www.specialops.org. And when you go to that site, just look up the Special Operations Bike Tour, and uh, you know you'll get all the information on either one of those sites. Very cool. And do, I guess people can stop you or. Is along the lines when you guys are biking and they yeah. can give you get donations by then. And is there anything else you guys need when you guys are out there doing this bike? Any like water, clothes, <laughs> anything that, that, that people can help yeah. you out with as well? Well, we're, we're on a very, very tight budget. So, you know, it's been working out great. Um, Anthony here, he's he's been going ahead. He's our safety driver and he goes ahead a lot of times and tries to set up hotels. And there's been a lot, a lot of gracious people who have donated rooms for us. Uh, we're on a very, very tight budget as far as for the ride goes. We only have about $70 a day. So, you know, 
anything people like to donate, it's always appreciated. Uh, tomorrow, actually, at Civic Plaza at 2 p.m., we're meeting up with the mayor, and uh, we're going to do a little thing down there. Uh, if anyone wants to come down, uh, we'll answer any questions that they have. But uh, most donations go through the websites. So go through and give those, give those addresses again. Okay, the first one is www.death-by-design.net, and the other one is www.specialops.org. Well, Rich, man, I, I think this is such a cool thing that you guys are doing, man, and I, I hope that a whole lot of people get behind it and help out these guys that uh, have been helping out our country. I was just going to say, if you go to www.death-by-design.net, you can follow all our progress. Uh, see pictures and see videos uh, that we've made uh, along the way. So, how many miles a day do you guys generally average? We're mm -hmm. averaging anywhere between 60 to 80 miles a day. That's not too bad. Coming into Albuquerque was great. We had a nice <laughs> tailwind. Got about 85 <laughs> miles in four hours. <laughs> oh, nice, yeah. man. So, uh, wait, now if you're going about that far, where, what's the next big city you guys will stop in on your road? Oh, we're trying to avoid the mountainous area, so we're going towards Amarillo next. By the way, if you stop in Amarillo and, and they'll do it for you, try the 72-ounce steak if you can. I've heard that. <laughs> I've already heard that. That sounds yeah. good. I had a friend that actually uh, ate the whole thing in less than an hour. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this past week. <laughs> I guess I'm making the big Texan will hook you up. I'm going to have to eat the grizzle, right? right? Uh, actually, the, and it's really it's not as fatty as the one that they make in the great outdoors. Oh, it's right. actually a very good cut of meat. The old 96er? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, very cool, guys. Uh, I, I wish you the best, and I do hope people uh, get donations for you, and uh, you guys make it as far as you can and uh, help out these guys. This is awesome. Thank you very right. much for uh, thank you very much for serving our country first of all, which is your service in the military, and then right. thanks for uh, helping out uh, everyone who's currently serving our country now. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Thank you very thank much. You very much, Appreciate guys. Six ten, the sports animal, Derek G on the afternoon show. One more segment coming up next, and we'll see how long Alex the intern can wait online. <laughs>